There's Floyd Mayweather. Love dreams at the Mayweather Boxing Club in Las Vegas. But it is David Benavides who maintains his Damn. unbeaten record now 21 and 0. This kid is an amazing fighter. He's going to go a long way to Oh, yeah. Clicks. Let me tell he you. He made I'm easy work of Jaleon Love. You know, he, his little layoff really helped him. It makes you wonder what's it next for Jaleon after this, you know? Right. And like he said, he was sitting back in the background and he was like watching all these people get titles. And, you know, he feels he needs a title, too. Well, this is Tissue yeah. Controversy. Well, you know, this is Tissue Controversy title, Live. I don't even remember what round that was. Was that round three? Coming for it yeah. back. You yeah. can tell. He's, he means David Benavidez stops Jaleon Love. He's one of the best looking prospects I've seen in years. Now yeah. going, yeah. is going to go yeah. on to. Uh, we don't know what's going on with Anthony Durrell because he had that big um, major Jay eye injury, Love remember? Is, uh, still, still a little wobbly in his last yeah. fight. Well, he got so can we see David Benavidez versus Caleb Plant? But Caleb Plant is dealing with some major issues right now. With um, what happened with his mother. Well, David Benavides victorious in round two. But he's back. Arlington, look at the champions in the super middleweight division. All of these guys will have a problem with Benavides. Uh, you know, I'm telling you, not one of them would walk away with an easy win against Benavides, if winning at all, to tell you the truth. Yeah, the WBO right now, Roberto right Ramirez now, I would still take has Benavides it. over in a second. It's not vacant yet, over a but year, once it again, it looks like Leon Love PBC, I mean, they acknowledge Canelo and he's over on the zone, but they had to, to acknowledge him. Jimmy Lennon Jr. Let's listen to the post-fight interview and uh, talk about the fight or talk about what's next. I'm T Street Controversy. Ladies this is T Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe. One minute, 14 seconds in round number two. Our two. Referee round stops two. The contest. Shit. He is the winner by way of technical knockout, and he is still undefeated. El Bandera Roja, David Benavides. Benavides goes to 21 0. 18 via knockout. His last two fights had gone the distance. He landed 15 punches per minute here at Arlington. As we head to the ring, Heidi. Thank you very much, Kenny. David, you told me throughout this camp the journey to getting that belt back starts tonight. You most certainly made a, a statement here tonight. Is this how you thought this, the, you thought that this fight would go? Yeah, but uh, first of all, no más le quiero dar las gracias a toda la gente que está aquí. Muchas gracias por todo el apoyo. Un saludo a Dallas, Texas. Gracias a todos. Viva, viva México. What's it like viva fighting Mexico. in front of this many fans in this stadium? Uh, it's a dream come true, man. Um, I, I can't do it without these people. You know, they give me the motivation. I need to wake up every day and do what I do and go that extra mile. But uh, it's a dream come true. Did this fight go as you expected it to? I know you said you expect the best Jay Leon Love to show up tonight. Absolutely. I knew it was going to happen. I had the fire. He didn't. You know what I mean? And um, I came in here. I said I was going to look spectac spectacular. That's what I did. But, you know, I seen Anthony Durrell win that title. He can't call himself a champion until he come, come, until he come see me. That's my belt, and we're going to get it again. He's here in the building right now somewhere. I think he's actually ringside. Is that the fight you want next? I know we've talked a lot about Caleb Plant. He's looking for, for Anthony. What do you want to say to him? I'm going to go get my belt back. I need that belt. That's mine. All right. Oh, you heard shit. It here. All right, Kenny, we'll send it back over to you. All right, thanks very much, Heidi. Benavides wants the belt back. He was the youngest ever super middleweight champ. WBC at the age of 20 embraces. But in the words of uh, Caleb Plain, he just got to keep his nose clean. You know? Uh, here's the 168 pound. Oh yeah, let's go look at some brief highlights. And you know he didn't really even do much. Jay Leon Love just was trying to stay in the pocket too much, especially in that first round. You know, and you know Jay Leon Love got the shot. And now where does he go? Now where does he go? Anyway, um. Here's the 168 pound division, Anthony Durrell, WBC. Remember his last fight, he beat um, A.V. Um, Avni uh, Yildirim in a controversial fight. Remember, because of that cut, what round was that? It had went to the cards, round 10. And um, Aunt Durrell was up at that point in time. 
Now you have Caleb Smith. We don't know what he's going to do next. You know, um, so Cano I forgot who they said he was probably going to fight. Um, so Canelo Alvarez, you know, he's fighting Danny Jacobs. We don't know what his status is at 168 pounds as it stands right now. Caleb Plant, who's mandatory, will likely be the winner of uh, Peter Quillen and Caleb Truax, which is taking place very soon. I forgot the exact date. I believe April the 13th. And then the WBO says it's vacant, but right now it seems as though Gilberto Ramirez is still holding on to it. And he's fighting Tommy Carpenter on, what was that, um, April the 12th, I believe it is? On April the 12th, you know, at 175, and then depending on how he feels, he can come back to 168 pounds and still be champion. Billy Joe Saunders at one point in time was going to be fighting um, um, Shifat Islam, Isufa, Isufi. And Jesse Hart talked to him the other day. Look at the, well, yesterday, look at the interview on the channel about, um, about several videos back, and you'll see what he's doing right now, 168 and 175. Floyd is there. I got to listen in. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Um, please subscribe.